Saudi Krab. It's Tuesday, March 12th. I'm JP Mistanza, and this is Phuket Extra brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. Now here's the news you need to know. Following a rash of bomb attacks over the weekend in the southern provinces, the commanding officer of the Royal Thai Army contingent stationed here in Phuket, he's assuring that the island is believed to be not a target. Despite the assurances, Colonel Santi Sakun Tanarak is still beefing up security patrols in key tourist areas and main government installations, including the Phuket airport, with more security searches at the Phuket checkpoint. And it's all as a precaution following the attacks over the weekend, in which luckily no one was hurt. If anybody sees anything suspicious, however, they're urged to call the Army Region 4 Headquarters hotline at 1341. Over the weekend, about four explosions were recorded in Satun province, while 10 bombs were found in Patalung province, believed to be the work of southern insurgents, who officials say want to shake the confidence in the government with national elections approaching in less than two weeks' time. Deputy PM and Defense Minister General Prawit Wongsuan says that some suspects have already been arrested in relation to the bombings, who have links to the ongoing violence in the Deep South. For more on this, visit thepuketnews.com. Despite all of this carnage, the people involved in this crash were lucky to have escaped with just minor injuries. On Sunday night, police were notified of an accident on Tepkasatri Road northbound about 500 meters from the Heroines Monument and they found three badly damaged pickup trucks with five people having been involved in the crash. Reports say that the driver of a new pickup truck with four passengers inside, he lost control of the vehicle and smashed into a power pole on the pavement, hitting a parked pickup which then hit another truck parked in front of that one. Only minor injuries were reported. The first call for smart city proposals are being made this week as Thailand gears up to develop 30 smart cities by next year, one of which is Phuket. The island is one of 10 zones nationwide that have already begun the transformation into becoming a smart city, joining Chiang Mai, Bangkok, Chomburi, and other cities, as the government plans to develop another 30 smart city zones by the end of the year with an eye to develop 100 smart cities by 2022. The smart city concept allows the zones to be further connected digitally with not just more Wi-Fi services, but also e-services with collaboration between government and private sector. And it's all part of the government's plan to develop Thailand into a high-income nation. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Sit tight, Phuket Extra will be right back after this. Have you ever wanted to do a 10K or a half marathon? Are you a seasoned runner? who thinks that just because you're getting a little older, your best times are behind you? If you've answered yes to these questions, then come and join me for Ramp Up Your Run. March 23rd, 7 a.m. at Phuket Boat Lagoon, starting you on the road to an active and healthier lifestyle. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Two recent fatal crashes of the Boeing 737 MAX 8, one in Indonesia and one in Ethiopia, in which 346 people total lost their lives. It's not enough to convince Thailand's aviation regulator to ground the planes until an inquiry into those crashes are done. Last October, a Lion Air flight crashed in Indonesia, killing all 189 people on board. And just this past weekend, an Ethiopian Airlines crashed killing 157 people on board. Both planes crashed just after takeoff and both were the same model plane, a Boeing 737 MAX 8. As investigations take place into what exactly happened with those crashes, China and Singapore's aviation regulator have put all of their Boeing 737 MAX 8 planes on the tarmac indefinitely, while there are only three of those planes operated in Thailand, all of them by budget a carrier, Thai Air Lion, the kingdom's aviation regulator is refusing to ground them, saying, quote, there is no need for such an order. AIDS prevention will be the focus for the new Miss International Queen Transgender pageant winner, Giselle Barbie Royale, who was crowned last Friday in Pattaya. The 31-year-old American beat out contestants from 19 other countries to become the first person of color to win the competition since it began back in 2004. And she also won the Best Talent Award, saying she'll use her newfound platform to educate others about HIV testing and safe sex. Thailand's Kanwara Kaujin came in second in the competition, while third place went to a contestant from China. 
And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. If you're watching us on YouTube, click that subscribe button to check out all of our future videos. If you're watching us on Facebook, give us a like on the Puka News page. From all of us here at the Puka News Center, thank you for watching, and until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. Mm -hmm.